and we're back to learning mid journey new announcements by the team they have finally published their own website and they're trying to move on from discord it seems for now it's in beta so it's a test phase you'll find the announcement right here and if you click on beta.midjourney.com you will be redirected to it I've already signed in but you may have to click on sign in and then you have to authorize discord to connect your user data to get signed in but then it should look something like this i've already used the dark mode right here turn it on you can also use the light mode and this was the old app it loads way slower let me click on reload and you're certainly used to this taking five seconds and sometimes hanging itself up so this was the home and explore the usual stuff and a new website looks somewhat similar Here's explore then my image is now the home where you find all of your image generations you can click on one and this is the good news you can now use the up and down arrow keys to cycle through them very quickly you can download them here would be a good idea for midjourney to add a download button right here without having to click on the settings for the image but as i've said it's in beta so they will add a couple of functions you can search your prompts as usual and you can also do that for explore let us use elon musk click on it yet again you can now use arrow keys and all of the Elon Musk search results are now cycled through you can click on other user stuff and then copy the prompts as it was the case in the last app so here's nothing truly new but ooh la la what's happening here mid journey is going explicit I may have to steal this prompt but anyway, I wouldn't call this a big change, at least not for now. But it loads way faster and this is the good news. Here, explore and home in the old app. It was sometimes even a drag. But the website, it loads almost instantly. And there is this imagine box. It's not active right now. So this makes me think that they want to move on from Discord entirely so that you can imagine, you can prompt your image generations right here on the website. And you don't need discord anymore but this is not active for now your community will be redirected to discord up until now i wouldn't say that this is a big thing but it's definitely something worth checking out and when they move on from beta it will surely have this imagine option and maybe even a couple of additional options that we can't even think of yet i will link to the website in my video description so check it out i hope this video was helpful thank you for watching and i'll see you next time